Hey YouTube, how's it going? It's Quinton here and welcome to tutorial number 10 and in this video I just want to talk to you guys about using functions with parameters. So before we can get started we just need to make a function that we can actually use a parameter with. So I'm gonna make a function that will alert a message out onto the screen and I'm actually just gonna call it alert message. So if you guys didn't watch my previous video then you need to go ahead and watch that so that you guys know how to make a function. But we basically type in the keyword function followed by our function name which in this case is gonna be alert message and then we include two parentheses and two curly braces. Okay and I'll just break down two lines and before we give our function any instructions or anything to do let's worry about this part over here which is our parameters okay so first of all what is a parameter you guys might be wondering well a parameter is a variable that we place inside of these two parentheses and then we are free to use that variable within our function okay so just like any other variable name, your parameter can be almost anything you want, okay? So I'm just gonna name mine message. Okay, so placing this variable message inside of these parentheses was basically the same as declaring a new variable, except I didn't have to include the keyword var before my variable name, okay? and now I'm able to use this variable message within my function so I can do anything I want if I wanted to add two numbers together then I could have my two parameters added together inside my function but what I'll do now is I'll actually just alert out my variable which is message and I'll end that off with a semicolon cool so now we have this function that alerts this variable message out onto the screen but we still haven't actually given our variable message a value so the reason the way we do this is uh, when we call our function and I'm going to call my function as soon as the web page opens so I might as well just say alert message okay and after my calling my function I have to include my two parentheses and basically inside of here I will place the value for alert message so let's just alert out the word hello and in order to do that I obviously have to uh, place the word hello in quotation marks because hello is a string and then I just end that off with a semicolon and now if I go ahead and save this and then run this in Firefox you can see we're met with this alert message that says hello and when I click OK I can continue to my website so I'll just go ahead and minimize this and the nice thing about this is now we can reuse this function as many times as we want but we can have a different message each time so let's go ahead and instead of alerting the message hello I can alert message um, and I can say welcome to my website as the message okay and we might as well have a third alert and uh, that one we can probably just say uh, are these alerts annoying you question mark are these alerts annoying you okay cool save that and now when I run this in Firefox then you can see <laughs> cool you can see we've got this uh, this alert that says hello and when I go ahead and I click OK then I get the second alert which says welcome to my website and I can go ahead and click OK and then I get a third alert that says are these messages or are these alerts annoying you so that's just uh, one cool thing we can do with uh, functions 
is we can reuse them all the time but we can print out different stuff so let's go over what we've actually just done here and basically what we did is we started off by just defining a function telling JavaScript okay we're gonna make a function and it's gonna be called alert message and what alert message does is it just alerts out this variable message okay and where do we get the value for our message? Well, we get the value for the message when we call our function, okay? What we do is we pass the value hello because that's what this is called. We, it's called passing a value to a variable. So we pass the value hello to our variable message and then we alert it out on the screen. So you can see what we did is we called this function three times and each time we gave it a different message so that's actually all I have for you guys in this video don't forget to subscribe please like my video and if you found this video helpful then don't forget to let me know in the comment section below so thanks for watching and I will see you guys next time